thing. Seekers, explorers, joiners and grown-ups. Big thumbs up. Thumbs up. And today we have Nathan with us. Hi. Hi Nathan. <laughs> and we're going to be talking again about prayer. Awesome. Hi yes. Nathan. Hi. Do you pray? <laughs> I do, I do. Wow, that's great. And um, what I really want to know, does God answer your prayers? Mm, yes, he does. However, sometimes I find he answers my prayer not always in the way I'm expecting. And okay. sometimes it doesn't happen straight away. And sometimes it takes time. Oh, right. Okay. So do you think you have to keep saying the same prayer over and over again? Yeah, I do believe, yeah. Okay. My friend Joan, hi Joan if you're watching, was telling me actually about saying the same prayer over and over again. It was a bit like, have you ever walked past a big swampy swamp and uh, thrown a rock into it and the rock kind of disappears down into a swamp? Mm. Mm. Well, Is that why we have a special guest to our table? We have a little <laughs> mini swamp here. And um, we're going to demonstrate how, if you keep saying the same prayer, it's a bit like throwing rocks into yeah. the swamp. However, I like to I like to see it a bit different than rocks. Okay. See, over here, I have precious jewels instead, because wow. I feel like your prayers are very important. So they're like more like a precious jewel than a rock. Okay. You're going to put some precious prayers, rocks, jewels into our swamp. Awesome. It's one, two, three. See, we can't really see anything's happening. The precious prayers are sinking down. When we say the prayers though, God is listening to every single word. And it's just like all these precious prayers, one at a time, being sucked down into the swamp. Oh, I can see something. Can you? Oh, brilliant. Keep praying, keep praying. Over time, these prayers build up and eventually what we can see is an island in the swamp. So the prayers have taken time. God's timing means that things don't always happen when we like them to happen or in a way in which we expect. So look what we have here. In our swamp we have an island, each powerful prayer paying a part. And each prayer is special to God. He hears every single thing that we say. And sometimes it takes a long time before we see what happens when we pray. I know for myself, sometimes prayers have taken many, many years. And Jesus, when he was here on earth, he told a story which helps us to uh, be encouraged to keep asking God for the same thing. Oh dear, I am in a pickle. A family have come to see me. They've been travelling for days. They've had nothing to eat. They're really, really hungry. And I've got no food. I've got no food. I'm going to go to my friend. I'm going to ask. I know that he'll give me some food. Let's go to his house. Let's knock at the door. It is the middle of the night, though. I'm sure he'll be fine. Hello? Hello? Can you help me? Don't think he's heard. I'll knock again. Hello? Hello? I'm in bed. Go away. Oh, please, can you help me? Please, can you help me? I said go away. Oh, I'm in bed. Hello, hello. I'm so sorry. Please, please, I'm so sorry. Can you help me? I really need your help. It's late. I put the kids to bed. I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. Goodbye. Oh, please help me, please help me. This is an emergency. I really need your help. It's too late. Oh, please, please. You see, a family have come to see me. They've been travelling for days. They've had nothing to eat. They are really, really hungry. Well, you should have thought about that. Goodbye. Oh, 
No, no, you don't understand. This is an emergency. I didn't know they were going to come. I haven't got anything in the house to feed them. All I need is a loaf of bread. Please, please, please. Go away. On. Last time. Oh. Oh, dear. What am I going to... I'll tell you what. I'm going to ask one more time. Please, please, can you help me? What would you like? Hi, I'm just really sorry. This family are really, really hungry. All I need is a loaf of bread. Please, please, can you help me? I knew that he would help me. I really knew that he would help me. Well, here's your bread. Thank Enjoy. you. Thank you, thank you so much. Mm. I'm so sorry that I had to keep asking. That's all right, I really didn't mind. <laughs> Well, now I can feed the family. So isn't it great that we can pray to God? We can talk to him just like we do anybody else. Would you like to join me in a prayer now? Eyes closed, hands together and Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can talk to you in prayer, that we can just tell you about our day. We can talk about things that are on my, our mind. And I thank you, Father, that you don't get tired of listening to us saying the same thing over and over again. And that Jesus encouraged us to keep asking in prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. For our craft today, we're going to make something that reminds us of the story that Jesus told about the lady that kept knocking on the door and didn't give up so we don't give up with our prayers. So we're going to make a set of doors and then inside, on a post-it note, you can write the things that you're praying for or draw a picture to remind you and to open the doors and remember to keep praying. So we're gonna start off with a cereal box, any cereal box, and we just want the front and the back big faces. So if you just cut those out, and here's some that I cut earlier. So just use a felt tip pen or a pencil and draw the shape of the doors. And then we want to cut down the middle and the top and the bottom. Now it's quite difficult with scissors. Top tip, I used a craft knife and a metal rule, grown-ups. I think children, this is quite tricky. Grown-ups will probably have to help with this. Then um, what you need to do is to stick the front on the back and then take your time decorating it. I've used real handles, which are buttons that I've just stuck on the front to make it a little bit more realistic. So there we go. The doors to what we're praying for. <laughs> with prayer and ended with prayer. Prayer is the master's key. Is the key, is the key, is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master's key. Jesus started with prayer and ended with prayer. Prayer is the master's key. Something happens and you don't know what to do. You can pray. 
situation around and you can pray starting from right now! Prayer is the key, prayer is the key, prayer is the master's key. Jesus started with prayer and ended with prayer. Prayer is the master's key, is the 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 key. It's 